Greetings, I am Harry Larry from Gary, and this is episode 2000 of The Sims 4 Gallery Lots. Yeah, that is cool. 2001 videos. Wow, that's a lot of lots. Ah. Okay, now this lot is called Sim Studio. It is out of 40 by 40, a lot type generic. A little bit of a description, you're always more welcome to read. And in fact, this is my lot. So, let us uh, take a look at the photos and see if they does it justice or not. And by this photo right here, I can tell it will not. Because it will just be too far away. Yeah, I can't see much there. That looks like a jumbled mess. And I eh, can't really tell what's there. So, yeah, these photos are not helping, but never fear. We're going to look at the real thing right now. Dun -dun -dun. All right. This is cool. 2,000 episodes. Wow. That is a lot of lots from the gallery. Give you a little sneak peek. I got a feeling this is going to be kind of a longer video. I'm not 100% positive, of course. Since what I'm, what, a minute and a half in? Two minutes in? But there's a lot to see here. All right, I did put it back on to its original lot here. And why did I make a 40 by 40? Because very rarely do I ever see a 40 by 40. I look every now and then. All right, so the concept of this lot right here, it was all because of the one studio. Everything else is just bonus here. All right, let's go down, take a look around. Yeah, I had no idea what else to make with it, except in the center. And if you've seen that little sneak peek, you would have uh, seen the little studio area. All right, I am in fall, so all these uh, flower colors are not pretty. <laughs> to put it simply. Well, we're going to be taking a look over there in a little bit. So anyways, what was the, the series I was going to start with this lot? And it was Mystery Sims Theater. Basically what it's going to be. And I'll show it to you when we get on in there. I'll babble on all about that. And this is the lot you get from the gallery, because even though this is the original lot placement, I decided to uh, download the real one. That way we can all miss stuff. All right, we're going to come on in and go a little closer. I'm not sure. And, of course, these four were going to be the stars of the show. I still got some bugs to take care of in those ones. Good photo, Nelly. And even ditto. Look at those abs. He's got to be proud. Yeah, that does look cool. All right, ready to go on in? I am. But there are stuff to see over here on the side, which I 
just remembered. I do like that little sign. Sorry if I'm pressing play and stop. And... But I don't want the day to change too much. All right, and this little area right over here, I made it just because I had this little dent and didn't know what to make with it. So I made this. Just a nice little area to sit down, enjoy the day. I do think this little area came out really nice. Does it have anything to do with a studio? Nothing at all. I only made it because it was pretty. And no, I don't own a cat, but I thought if a cat came on by, give him something to play with. Now, there's a lot of little hidden things around. If you notice them, you'll notice them. Some of them I'll point out here. Yeah. Some I won't. Okay, now I'm ready to go on in. Oh, I didn't take a look at the parking lot. Should I go back? Nah. We'll come back to that. Yeah, receptionist area. And yeah, every photo here is basically mine. You see, uh, you'll see a lot of everybody. Okay, we do got a waiting room. For what? I don't know. Maybe a job interview. Ooh, did this hold up? No. Darn it. I'm missing a piece. So that little glass table with the fire on it was supposed to have been right there. Ooh, that passed my uh, inspection. Shame upon me. Still looks cool, but not as... All right, we are not going to go down that way right now. Instead, we're going to go down the hallway. Oh, looks like some of the water is getting inside. Sadly, fish do not transfer. There were fish in there. Honest, there was. But no, not right now. Ooh, I missed that little plant coming through the wall. All these photos was in front of a little poster thing taken outside. Basically, where the... <laughs> right here. That's where all these photos were taken. Obviously, I moved that... Bobber. I was going to keep it there, but instead I got rid of it. All right, should we go towards the studio? Or we'll go in here and take a look at the cafeteria.
when I took those photos, I almost got the got it perfect, almost. And you do get popcorn here. So congratulations. You can sit back, watch a movie. I do like that little rug right there. Don't ask me why. I thought it fit well. Oh, I forgot to put some plants right there. But then again, we do have plenty of plants to look at outside. out of bathroom and yes I am waving you're always more welcome to wave back nothing like a frogger coming to my or not nothing like a frogger came into my voice right as I was trying to babble on at least I remembered some loo paper I do believe this bathroom is just the same. Hold on. All photos are different, though. At least I think so. Hopefully they were. Yes. All right. So this is going to go towards the workers area. Cameraman production. Everybody like that. And I liked having the light there under the table. Don't know why. Just looked kind of cool. And I got some camera stands thrown around here in case you ever wanted to use them with cameras on some of them. One of my favorite clocks, just because it moves. Well, that looks kind of fancy. Well, it looks like I did not give the workers a shower area. Yeah, I did. As I come back and think about it. Ooh, actually, that looks pretty nice right there. If I do say so myself. I guess I haven't looked at that bathroom for a while. There's the shower area. I suppose I could have made this room just one click smaller. Oh, I really do like this blue wood. Makes me wish I used it in more areas. All right, and the workers' bunkhouse. And before I forget, this lot is playable. There was nothing I found at the end, anyways, that needed to be fixed. Yeah, I've been over this lot a few times. Obviously not enough if I noticed a coffee table missing. Take one last look here in the 
locker room. Funny thing is, the pillow actually helps a lot for some reason. All right, hopefully I got everything up. Take one last look. And now uh, all these walls are just to make sure that one right there me where's that door anyways if what the door slides open the colored walls will stay the same Yeah, get different shots everywhere. I got cameras all over this place. Which ends up being pretty cool. Oh, that's the outside door. There's the other one. We're still not ready to go see the studio chest yet. Okay, the door off to our left right here brings us right to the front receptionist. Now behind this door is Nellie's personal uh, dressing room. Yeah, I'll show off the photos here in a moment or three. Nelly and Bob flexing. And Bob's not here right now. He's at work. He was unable to play with uh, episode 2000. Poor Bob. Just a little hallway. Didn't know what to do with it, so I threw that in there. All right, here is Bob's room. And Bob's room is connected to Ditto's room. Yeah, Bob doesn't need much room. I think that's it for photos. And of course, Ditto does have his own little bathroom over there with a smaller version of toilet paper.
That's a good photo ditto right there. And even a better photo of Itchy. All right. Gee, I wish I uh, paid attention what time I started this video. Okay, Itchy's dressing room. Since he is human and a full adult, obviously he needs more room. I thought this was a good photo of Bob right here, laughing at Itchy while he's going pee. And luckily enough, I did remember a little paper. Another good photo of Itchy, looking all bummed out. Oh, I bet Bob was taking that photo. And you're not going to see any photo of all four of them together. All right, we're going to pop down here. I was debating. Okay, and this is one of the rest and relaxation areas. Really like how this room turned out. Behind those doors right there, there's a bar. But first, we're going to go take a look at the bowling alley. Huh, I was wondering where Dead O left that. And if we run all the way down here, we got a couple of Roombas that can uh, race each other. See which one's faster, of course. I got a floater. I'm sure it's not the last of them. Take one last gander. Actually, this the colors came out really well in this one. All right, see how the bar turned out. Oh, that one must not light up. That's kind of sad. Right there is one of the lots I covered. I do believe that was from up on Poppy Hill. When I did a bunch of uh, Studio Ghibli uh, lots. I don't remember what episodes or those were. That's a lot while ago. That actually does light up. Now, trying to get those candles right about there, that one actually took a while to do. But it came out nice. Now, this lot was another Studio Ghibli one. And... I can't remember if it was from when Marnie was there or a Kiki one with a, oh, it might be a Kiki one. 
just by seeing the kitty cat right there. Oh. Anyways, nice bar. Just a nice little area for my Sims to come down and enjoy themselves. All right, let's go take a look at the studio closer. As soon as I get all the walls up. And of course, any studio door will have a red light before you come in the studio. I think we'll just <laughs> show you that way. Okay, let's go in. Do a little side, side to side. Nibs. Skeebs, some fooler, huh? Gushif. All right, now this room took forever for me to make. But this is the whole idea. The whole lot became because of this room. Except for those. These right here, I just did an episode not too long ago. Celebration uh, cannons. <laughs> so small, they hardly do anything. I laugh so hard. Oh, I did not turn that on, though. Forgot to do that. So I got a bunch of stuff everywhere. Okay, these m mirrors right here are where that was. Ooh, it doesn't feel like I'm doing this justice. Oh, I didn't even get to show you that carpet yet. Carpet took some while to get the, the rundown look. I do like how that came on. And, of course, I got a little trinkets everywhere. I've seen that treasure map uh, up floating. So if you look around, you'll see a bunch of little things everywhere. Ever see that move? Oh man. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can come up. Oh man, I can't come down. There we go. Oh Bob that work. This little guy. Oh no. Totally missed it. And then if you get this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, now watch this. <laughs> All right, Nelly. That was just phenomenal. I didn't know if he had more than one sim. The other one will end up uh, doing all that. That was cool. Okay, we got an old school one that kind of works. I do have another one over there, the good one, but... Man, for some reason, I made pits. Don't know why. Thought it looked cool. If you wonder why that area is all open right here, it's because of this thing. I made it one size smaller, but the footprint, well, thing in the butt. So anyways, couldn't put anything there. Ooh, telephone's floating. So let's go side to side on there. Or you can just take a look. Oh, did you see the puppy eyed? Oh, you're not going to be able to see him from this angle. Ah. So, what is Mysteries? Sims Theater. Well, if you ever watch Mystery Science Theater, pretty much the same thing. I was going to have them all just sit right here, and we're going to make fun of every movie, TV show that they got on TV. That was the idea. But unfortunately, when I'm in this camera view, the TV doesn't, uh, it's not loud enough, so I got to figure that out. And there's the puppy eye dog look. He's just looking, well, you got three hands, and you can't pat me with one of them type of look. All right, so that is the first floor. Whoops, I forgot to show you this. So all these cameras are workable. This one right here is on a little dolly, and it'll move up a little bit, go side to side. It looks kind of cool. Does it actually record anything? No. Just like the hard camera right here. It was a better view, but I wanted these plants here. So we're going to imagine it made it through. Okay, so if we go through this little crack right here. And that's where the kitchen's at, if you're wondering. And we'll go up these stairs and go we'll take a look at the second floor. Oh, this is going to be a long video. We still got the outside to look at. Anyways, the views from up here. We can get all different types of camera views. And of course, Got to have the producer area. Can't see it because of half walls. Can you see it now? Kind of. Hey, it's okay. You know it's there. Uh... 
Okay, those are hanging plants right there, but they're not in the way. If they bother you, put a bucket on them. They didn't bother me. In fact, I forgot all about them till right now. I didn't notice them before. Honest. <laughs> and do you see where the last camera is? One more camera up here. And we got to go through this way to get to her. And I think we'll go there first. Oh, I suppose I could have put a bunch of stuff there. And here's the last spot. That way they can just get the top down view of them. Okay, during gameplay mode, that would be visible. Yeah, I could have put a bench or something in this little area. Totally spaced out. Probably because I kept on looking at this area. Nice little top deck for a barbecue. And yes, the telescope does work. Okay, let us go down. Back up a smidge. There's a door around here somewhere. Right there. And we come out here. Of course, there's a toddler toilet outside. Nelly and Bob like uh, climbing, so they do that. Because I still got to get on top of the mountain and show you guys that for the Simmons Bore Maxis lots. So I've yet to do that. And actually, there's a couple of lots I heard I missed. A couple of base game lots, but I certainly will get to it. Right over there is just that pretty area. Hold on a second, let me just reset my camera to look a little uh, too far away. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, anything underneath this so the kids can't play with that. Because it's underneath there, and I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. But I'll show you some of the stuff I have on here in here. So my tree house, I definitely put extras on it and I'll show you that here momentarily. And what may that be? That is an escape hatch. Out of the treehouse. And of course, they land on a cushion. All good to go. So I definitely decorated up my treehouse for sure, inside and out. And the inside was super hard to do. But it looked good. So if you notice right here, the little fireman's pole, that doesn't, the railing doesn't disappear or the rope. And I don't understand that. Same thing with the slide. Don't know why they're not disappeared.
All right, let's go into the tree house. Yeah, but all this here was just so hard. So, so hard. Because I had to do it a couple of times. Because the first time I built the tree house, it was off lot just a little bit. And so, I had to move everything over twice, actually. It wasn't fun. All right, and that hole right there is that little escape hatch. I just really like that. I thought it looked really cool. Came out really nice, too. I do like that little big fire pit. Because that thing burns all the time. All right. This area. Just a nice little relaxing area to have a little fire pit. Now, if you ever wonder, do I have a favorite lot? I've seen a lot of beautiful lots, all the 2,000 I've seen. And yes, I actually do. And it was a Halloween one, this past Halloween. I can't remember the creator's name, but it was a house that looked like a pumpkin. Beautifully done. My favorite lot of all time. Just by how it looks. Now, my favorite lot of my own I've made. Ooh. Hmm. Got a few I really like. Firefly Farm is really cool. I do believe that's where the little gnome, gnome village is in that lot. Altar Sacrifice, that was just a fun terrain one I built. Cemetery, obviously. This area turned out really pretty. Yeah, I like how it turned out. And you do get a plethora of different plants here, and I'll show you here in a moment. Yoga mats, all that neat stuff. Now, if you never see any rabbits come out of this stump, it's because of those leaves right there. And just move those out of the way, and that stump should work. I was watching it for a while, and then I spaced it out, because I didn't see no rabbits come out. Okay, what, do, what some of the plants do we have here? Got some blueberries, green pea, chocoberry, bell pepper, strawberries, blackberries, grapes, probably sage right there, I bet. Ooh, black bean. Bluebell, some garlic, oh, a nightly mushroom, just a regular mushroom, huckleberry, elderberry, soy, sage, 
basil, parsley, and tree of emotions. Wow. Apple tree. Carrot. Ooh, two carrot plants. Cherry, cherry tree and a lemon tree. All right, we lost our trees. They're there. Well, that was a really cool place. All right, let's take a closer look. And uh, as always, if you ended up enjoying this lot and or video, you're always more than welcome. I did not show the parking lot. More than welcome to you. Give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you find yourself enjoying my content and you're not a subscriber, you're always more than welcome to subscribe. Okay, on this side of the wall, it's where the bathrooms are. Where the kitchen is, that's the stairs to go to the workers' uh, locker room and bunkhouse. I decided to put a person there. I don't know why. But it worked out well when you look at it from a farther farther away view. Anyways, uh, that is the parking lot. All right, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification button and doorbell. To those of you who already are my subscribers, I well, thank you very kindly. That is so cool. I know a lot of you have probably been around for a long time. I, I always think that's really cool. So hopefully I keep on making uh, episodes you enjoy watching. Hi, Bunny Rabbit. If you have anything to say, you're always more welcome as well to leave something in the comment section. I always enjoy reading them and answering when I can. Yeah, I really like how this turned out. Now, hopefully I'll be able to get that series started sometime. If you know anybody who'd like to see this lot in video form, you're always more than welcome as well to share this video. Good thing those trees are in the way. And, of course, the most important thing of all, please take a look at this creator's other creations, which happens to be me. All my creations are awesome. <laughs> okay, maybe not. A lot of them are really good. Like the Firefly Farm or Ultra Sacrifice. Or, oh, I got a lot of ones actually I really like. Now, unfortunately, so the first episode of this series was one of my friend's builds that I helped with a little bit. They were also on episode 1000. And I actually interviewed them while we did through one of their uh, lots, but they haven't been playing for a while. They've been off to doing other games. So unfortunately, I couldn't do one of theirs for 2000. And I would have. This does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Stuck in the weeds. See if I can pull back and up. 
yeah, you're always more than welcome to tell me what was your favorite episode that you have seen of my done so far. I'd be curious. Because I've seen so many that would be in my top ten. So many. Probably a good hundred that are in my top ten. Ooh, the Abandoned Slaughterhouse was a really good one as well. All right, if you ever wonder why I say Lua paper instead of toilet paper, well, it's all because of one of my viewers. I haven't heard from him for a while. And it was Midget. I can't remember uh, the last part. Anyways, she always talked about Lua paper, and she got that from... Um, it's going to come to me. Buddha Guitars. Both of those creators have done a few times. And as you can see, no problems whatsoever with the ceilings. I was just to give a little light right there. Well, now you can see the stains and the rugs a little bit better. But we ain't looking at that floor yet. Now we are. Yeah, too bad about the fish. I wish you could always keep the fish in these things. Don't see why not, because hamsters, hamsters seem to stay. But why can't fish? Well, anyways, I say loo paper because I think it's funny. <laughs> That's all. It just sounds so cool. At least to me. And luckily enough, this is my video. Yeah, that definitely did come out really nice. I do like all the cameras. And their line of sight. So I don't know how the building really turned out. You know, the rest of everything else doesn't seem like uh, for a studio, but... I had to give this something the Sims to do here. Might have went overboard a smidge. <laughs> I know, hard to believe, huh? All right, let's see if I can find a really good spot. Oh, and the, this is where I originally put it, too. The slot. All right, where can I find a good spot? I like over here. That looks kind of cool. All right. And with that, happy thought. Hopefully, well, 54 minutes. Well, anyways, hopefully you're still around. And if you are, give it a thumbs up because that's so cool. All right. So hopefully I'll catch you on episode 2001 coming up soon here. In fact, I already recorded it before I recorded this one, but that is okay. So, hopefully I'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you for being around for, well, some of you for 2,000 episodes. Or maybe you caught up, but anyways. Until the next time, later.